I'm going to ask you a personal question in this video, and I hope that you can be honest with yourself. You don't have to, you know, respond in the comment section if you don't want to. Uh, but when last have you checked your bank statements? Not because you're required to do it, but because you are very intentional about where your money is spent and what comes into your account in terms of earnings. One of the struggles that we face nowadays with the age of digital money, right? If I, if I may put it that way, we use credit cards, we pay online. We don't have to interact with the cash that we spend anymore. And when I say interact, it means that we don't have to physically count the money and go pay for a product or pay for a service. We end up just using the cash, using credit cards, and then you know, we pay it back at the end of the month when we get paid. That is generally how we all use money nowadays. But here's the problem with that. We fail to take account, okay? When I say take account, be intentional about how our money is spent. So if you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back to this channel. At the end of the day, my goal is to share valuable information that may help you if you put it to use. So here's something I want to encourage you to do, and I hope that you would take a few minutes. I mean, usually, I don't do this every month, but I would do it maybe every six months, maybe every three months, depending on how I'm feeling. But generally, I try to do it at least once every six months. And this is what I would do. I go to my accounts, I go to my bank statements, and I pull my most recent three months uh, statements. You don't have to do it every month because I feel like that's overkill. But if you're really down to cutting expenses or finding where your money is going and knowing exactly how your money is spent, then obviously go for it. But um, look at your most recent three month statement and um, whether that is your credit card, whether that is your debit card or your, you know, your checking account, whatever, that may, may, whatever it may be for you. Uh, pull those statements and just do a glance. See what your money is spent on on your credit card especially, okay? And then go to your um, checking account, see what your money is spent on as well. Now, here's something that I want you to do. Once you have that idea, you don't have to write the numbers out. You don't even have to try to do a budget because that's not the point of this video. But once you have the idea of where your money is spent in those two areas, okay? Then I want you to go look at your income, all right? Whether it's a pay stub, whether it's a business income, whether it's a salary, whatever that may be for you, right? W-2 or not. Look at what that income look like, okay? And depending how your income is structured, if you're the type of person that has multiple income streams, if you're the type of person that only has one income stream, list them out. And by the way, this is easier done with an Excel sheet, okay? Um, so, for example, if you have maybe a brokerage account that pays you some money, if you have your normal income that pays you some money from your job or a business side also, list them out. And here are two things that I want you to do, and hopefully you take away from this video. You see, let's start with the spending side of things, all right? I don't want to call it expenses because at the end of the day, we are using, we are, nobody's forcing us to pay for whatever we pay for, whether it's our rent or whether it's our food that we eat out. Nobody's forcing us to do that. We are choosing to live in a place that we live or we're choosing to buy the food that we buy, right? So the point here is look at your spending. If it's on groceries, if it's on eating out, if it's on buying things from stores, look at those expenses and see, okay, those things that you bought in the last three months or in the last month, in the last two months, were they necessary, okay? Were they important things? And ask yourself, how many of these things, so if you could list maybe five to 10 things, how many of those things were important? Or maybe 20 things. How many of those 20 things were important? If you saved, let's say, five of those items because they were not necessary and they were just things that you impulsively purchased, then how much would you have saved in money? Okay, so that's one, the first task. The next task to that is to look at your income streams if you have multiple streams of income. And by the way, like I said, it doesn't have to be that you're doing side also. It may be a brokerage account, okay? Look at how much you earned on, and by the way, when I say I don't do this every month, I do this every month for, for the income streams. Every month I go to my graph and I, uh, my uh, spreadsheet and I look at, okay, how much did I make on a brokerage account in terms of dividends? How much did I make on this other brokerage account in terms of dividends? How much did I make on this account in terms of uh, revenue, right? 
And I do that all for all the streams of income that I own. And the question I ask myself is, how can I increase these streams of income? How can I make them, you know, just, even if it's like a couple of dollars more than what it is right now. So for example, if it's a brokerage account, maybe I need to buy more dividend paying stocks. Maybe I need to buy more um, companies or hold more shares of those companies that pay good dividends. If it's a business or if it's like, a, uh, for example, YouTube, right? Maybe I need to make more videos, right? To increase my hard revenue. Uh, if it's a referral program, how can I share my referral links with more people that will be able to use it? Things like that, right? Are things that I would start to think about. Because when you have those things in focus, that means your spending, your income, you are likely to make better decisions on how you can increase your income or decrease your spending. But if you are the type of person that you're, yes, you know that you're not making a lot of money, but you're very passive about the way you go about what you're spending and how you can cut back on it, or you're very passive on your income because you believe, well, that is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Guess what? Your results will remain the same every time. That means your earnings will not increase. Your spending will not get better and most likely it will get worse. We see if you're not growing, you're probably dying, right? And that is the same thing you want to, that's the same approach you want to take when it comes to your income and your spending. You want to make sure that they are both in focus and they're not in the background. They're not blurry. You're not trying to guess like, okay, maybe this is what it is. It is very important to be disciplined to take the time to look at these two areas. If you do these two areas, in the next six months, when you look back, you see that your finances would have increased. Just wanted to share that with you, and best of luck to you.